Senator Al Franken bowing to intense pressure within his own party and stepping aside, but not without taking a parting shot at President Trump on his way out. On Capitol Hill this morning, a dramatic fall from grace. Senator Al Franken now on his way out. In the coming weeks, I will be resigning as a member of the United States Senate. At times defensive. Some of the allegations against me are simply not true. Others I remember very differently. And also reflective, arguing he's earned a reputation as a champion of women. I know there's been a very different picture of me painted over the last few weeks, but I know who I really am. And taking a parting shot across the aisle. I, of all people, am aware that there is some irony in the fact that I am leaving while a man who has bragged on tape about his history of sexual assault sits in the Oval Office. It's a stunning end to the Have political career for the former menu. SNL star. Can I take your order? Who a became sleep. a punchline. I, I know this photo looks bad, but remember, it also is bad. <laughs> Franken apologized to Leanne Tweeden <laughs> and initially tried to keep his job. But when a seventh accuser came forward to say she was touched inappropriately, his party turned on him. Do you think it was the right thing to do? I think it was. Washington Democrats drawing a line in the sand on bad behavior that could put more pressure on Republicans. If Roy Moore, who denied multiple accusations of sexual misconduct with teenagers, wins the Alabama Senate race next Tuesday. This is not our best foot forward with Roy Moore, and it will have, I think, long-term damage for the party. Also in trouble this morning, Republican Congressman Trent Franks of Arizona, announcing last night he plans to resign next month amid an ethics committee investigation into misconduct. I'm going to let the state speak for itself. Franks on Thursday acknowledging he talked to former female staffers about being surrogate mothers for his children, saying, quote, I deeply regret that my discussion of this option and process in the workplace caused distress. Franks joining Democratic Congressman John Conyers in stepping down after women across the country have said, me too. Franks is the third member of Congress to step down this week amid these types of allegations following John Conyers and, of course, Al Franken. Next in Minnesota, the Democratic governor will appoint someone to temporarily fill Franken's seat. But that election, when it comes up for permanent uh, re-election in 2018, could be pretty competitive. Savannah, uh, Casey, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.